What's up, YouTube? This is here bringing you guys another video to the channel, and today we're going to be talking about six new perks that have leaked for Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, before I get into this video, I do have a couple of things I want to run through. First of all, if you guys have been watching my videos on a consistent basis, whenever I post them, whatever, or if you just like the content in general, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as like the video and don't forget to turn on notifications. Uh, it helps me grow, helps the channel in general, and I would really, really appreciate it. Also, I just launched my um, Discord server. The link to that is down in the description. I would really appreciate it if anybody and everybody joins the Discord. I'll have updates on my videos. I'll have discussions about uh, content, games, whatever. And I would also like to genuinely make some new friends and get to know some people from the community. So go ahead and join the Discord in the link down below. So yesterday, the MW2 Ghost, who is an infamous leaker, for Call of Duty content, especially this year with Vanguard, uh, posted a bunch of perks on Twitter that he had dug up from the, I'm assuming the PC game files. Now again, these are leaks, they're not confirmed by Activision, so take it all with a grain of salt, it might not be true, it could be stuff left over, things that they were gonna use but they cut. You don't know what any of this goes to, and I have my own theories of what a lot of these are. So again, just keep in mind, none of this is officially announced, they are leaks. But he posted all of these perks to Twitter, and they are kind of controversial. There is some pretty crazy stuff in these perks, and I'm going to go through each and every one of them, and then I'm going to kind of give my opinion on them, as well as what I think they actually are. The first one that we have here is Serpentine, which is uh, Sprinting Reduces Incoming Damage, which is kind of crazy, to be honest. Uh, then we have Dauntless, which is Immune to Suppression, Slightly Reduces Movement Speed. This is weird to me because, like, why does a perk have a negative? And also, suppression in the game in general is just such a bad feature, in my opinion. I don't think that it has a place in Call of Duty. So it's strange to see that as well. Then we have Lightweight, which increases movement speed, increases movement penalty from suppression. Again, I don't understand why there is a negative to a perk. Uh, then we have Brawler. When using melee weapons, move speed and melee range are increased and regen immediately after a melee kill. So to me, this sounds like Commando, Commando Pro on Drugs type of a perk, which is also just crazy to me. Uh, I'm all here for having some overpowered things, having some of that craziness from classic Call of Duty, and that really feels like that's what this is coming from. Um, then we have Clandestine, which is slain enemies drop intel packets that reveal nearby hostiles. Uh, bonus intel ping at the start of each new life. I feel like this is a perk that was from Call of Duty World War II, but it might have been called something different. I don't remember exactly, but the name Clandestine sounds familiar as well as some of that information in there. It might have been associated with a different perk or uh, one of the, the, the categories of people that you could play as in COD World War II, um, but I don't remember exactly. And then the last one that we have here is Reaper. Uh, kills with kill streaks count towards additional kill streaks. Your care packages have a higher chance to drop better items. Uh, your personal radar and UAVs last 50% longer, and controlled kill streaks have 50% more health. This sounds like a really, really good kill streak, especially if you are just slaying the majority of your games. Now, it does say personal radar and UAV, which obviously we know in game they're called Spy Plane and I think Intel or. Uh, something like that for the, the personal radar. Now, I think that this is just a matter of leftover naming in the game. I don't think they've changed this yet. It hasn't been updated because obviously we're still a month away from the game releasing. And a lot of this stuff will probably be changed with the day one patch, all the little stuff that they don't get right away. So that is all of the perks that leaked. And first of all, some of these are insane. Um, the fact that they have negatives, the fact that some of them sound super overpowered, like the Brawler perk and potentially the Reaper perk, depending on your point of view. I do want to mention that something that I don't think a lot of other people are talking enough about is the fact that we have weapon perks. We have gun perks back in the game, and I think some of these are going to be attached to those guns and weapons. Uh, I saw mention that the melee weapons from one of the leakers on Twitter have a uh, an attachment spot, which is really strange because you wouldn't think that they would have an attachment spot. They haven't in the past. Uh, and it looks like, to me, I would assume things like Brawler are going to be used in that attachment spot. I also think things like uh, Dauntless potentially could be a gun attachment, because right now there is no counter to weapons in the game. 
for that suppression system. So it would make sense to me if things like Dauntless were a, a weapon perk and not an actual in-game perk. Now, I could see things like Serpentine, um, Lightweight even, Clandestine, Reaper. All I could see those four being your standard perks that are in the game. But a couple of those definitely make more sense as a weapon perk or weapon attachment of some sort. And that also makes me wonder how many more of these weapon perks and attachments, assuming that's what this is, are there in the game that we don't know about that are crazy powerful? Something that I noticed right away in the beta was the fact that they give you the option to customize your gun to such an extent, like changing the fire rate, changing the damage. You can make guns really, really good in this game. And I'm actually kind of excited for it. So it doesn't really surprise me that there could be perks in the game that are insanely overpowered when it comes to weapon attachments. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's everything that I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video, if it was informative, if you got some information out of this that you um, that you wanted, please hit the like button. Please subscribe for more content and deuces.